good morning. Testing an e-bike today. Have some of this. Some of that. This lady spontaneously said. Wow. And ultimately, will it fit into Gustav? Welcome to Go With Gustav. My name's Chris. And I'm Rachel. This is Sprocket. And this is Tassie. Come and join us on our adventures. But don't forget to like. And subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Hello and welcome to the unboxing of an electric bike. This is the C Plus CFX2. Um, I had this as a, a birthday present, so we haven't bought it and I can say what I like about it, apart from probably telling Rachel that, that it's, if there are any problems with it. Hopefully not. Um, this is really interesting for, for motorhomers because if you don't want to tow a car, which we, we don't and we can't with our motorhome anyway, uh, then getting about can be a problem. We've not really come across a problem so far apart from thinking about we wanted to go and get fish and chips and the town was a little bit too far, it's about half a mile and they would have been cold by the time they got back. So having a bike is ideal, having an electric bike would be even better. Um, I didn't want to spend the thousands and thousands of pounds on something that we wouldn't use all the time. Uh, and this was in a sale, it has gone back up in price now. This at the moment is a thousand pounds. It was under 500 pounds, so I'm sure it will go back down uh, at some point, so it's worth watching. And there were cheaper bike, electric bikes than this as well. The other uh, important point, it wasn't from any sort of fly-by-night, uh, somebody on the internet you'd never heard of. This was from Argos. So it's a reputable company, uh, and obviously be easy enough to take back if we have problems with it. So let's, uh, let's get started and all I've done so far is uh, cut along the top so I can go into it. Um, I have seen other unboxings of bikes where you've got to do a lot of building but I'm hoping we don't have to. So here, Spock. Spock it's helping me. Okay. It's nicely boxed. Now electric bikes I know are not light, um, I've seen some, so I looked very carefully at how heavy and, and it was uh, the sort of weight I was expecting. There are one or two that are lighter and a lot of the, the more expensive ones are heavier. So um, I can't really see any instructions and that's, that is just about the battery. Uh, oh. See if there's any instructions. That's the charger. Safety instructions for charging. I think these are becoming fairly standard now that you don't charge them unattended. So you wouldn't like this rocket, you don't like noises. Finally, have the instructions. Assembly guide, maintenance manual. Well, that looks fairly comprehensive. And interestingly, that is all. That is all in English, rather than being one page of English and then every other language. So that's for tonight's reading. Two spanners. There's two. Sorry, three. Three Allen keys and a screwdriver. Oh, excellent. Your bike comes 98% assembled in the carton. You only need to fit the pedals. A 
it looked like that but it's moving. You need to fit the pedals, unfold the frame, the handlebar assembly and insert the saddle assembly. Remove all the packing materials uh, used to protect the bike and dispose a bit later as well. sections meet and swing the quick release lever around and clip together in two. Oh, sorry, it's broken. Okay, there's a catch here. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you needed a little bit of force. Turn on the safety catch so that the foot of the safety clip enters, pull into the slot. That's it. Alright. Okay. Oh, I see. Come on, let's go. This off. That I've literally just it's already attached. So that's very clever. There's a charging point and on-off switch in there. So I'll put all the, the specs, all the specs on the video as it goes. Um, I chose it particularly because it had the eight gears, so we can use it as a normal bike if it goes flat. But so far, I'm very impressed with that. Um, it's got a kickstand there as well. Hey. So just yeah, main control is just twisted underneath there for the moment. Oh, there we go. I'll do, I'll do close-ups of these later. But so far, that's looking pretty good. Changes on here, and well, that charger has gone to red, so we will let it go charge for a bit. Let's just see what happens. Press the power button, nothing. Oh, all right. Well, we've got that looks like a full battery anyway, so. It looks like it comes fully charged, so we might be able to just go and have a little play before we take it out in a, probably a proper test run. And ultimately, it'll be can we get it in the boot of the motorhome, which I'm fairly confident we can. But we'll leave it here at this point. Okay, we just started off in first gear on first power level on 
already it, it needs to change gear because it's going faster than I can pedal. We're up to third or fourth. Going up a hill. And it's just it's like you're just going on a, a level surface. Very easy. Now up to I think seven. That's now up eight. We're on the first power level. Full charge still. Just very easy like a Sunday afternoon in the park. It's February and it's raining. Very pleasant. I bought my gloves because it's a little bit cold. No need to go up the power level, I don't think. We'll try it. I've got one. Right. Ooh. So it goes faster, but it feels like it's going to go faster than I can pedal. Another level. Have a faster. It's actually now going faster than I can pedal, and it's on the top level. If you just keep pedalling round, but it's, it's on because you're not pedalling. You're not really pedalling against any resistance on the top one. I'm going to bring it down to the first level. Nice and easy. The first level you have a little bit of resistance, but it's what you need, I think. It just feels like you're doing something as you go. I didn't hear you at yeah. all. Not yeah. your bike. It's well, I, electric. It's electric. I've just got it. Wow. Um, got it. Got it in the sales at, uh, from Argos. It was five hundred quid rather than it's gone back up to a thousand now. Wow. But, uh, That's yeah. great. And it folds up. So, Does it? Yeah. Will it fit into good stuff? Here's the will it fit good stuff test. Actually, because it's a, a large boot on this side, I think it will fit even without taking it down, but we'll take it down anyway. Might even see if we can fit it on the other side, which is much smaller. Um, Kickstand up. We put the pe pedals away. We push them in and they fold up, in and fold. And I'm just going to get them halfway. Safety catch, undo. Now I've already put, there's a plastic bit here. I'm not sure if you meant to use it all the time, but I just thought it would protect the metal. That's so it can rest down as you fold it up. It'll probably go in like that. The handlebars, there's a catch and a safety catch. So pull the catch out, safety catch up to release it, and then that folds down tightly. And then we could put the saddle down, but I'm going to try without doing that. Um, I'm also probably going to put something just to hold that together maybe something in between just to protect it but let's just see if it will fit in we chose this van particularly to have a large boot it's 
It's one of the requirements we wanted. That's a good job. Let's just have a look. Lots of room. It'd be interesting if it did fit on the other side. We might just try that. So the Adamo has a small boot on the driver's side. So it does fit, I just had to put the, the saddle down to get it in on this side um, which means I'll probably keep it on the other side because I think it's just easier, it didn't take too long to put the saddle up and down but just so it's at the right height, I'll keep it on the other side. <laughs> 